How's it? Welcome back to uh, Bezos Garage. Um, we've taken a bit of a break from uh, from building the King Cat because uh, I needed to get my other mow basically going. So I've taken a bit of a break from that and we're back into the reboot. So it's part four of the reboot. Um, effectively, what we've done is last time you saw the mower, we said we had to build an engine. So I've now built an engine. Um, so this is a, a flathead. It's a 28 cubic inch flathead, which puts it into a class one mower. So what I've done is I've used the original manifold uh, and then I've made an adapter to put a different carburetor onto it. Um, I've also got to print another one of my uh, cone adapters so that I can then put um, this air filter onto it. Um, so once the cone adapter is done, whoop, uh, it'll basically sit on here and then we'll have uh, the filtration as well. So just waiting for those to get printed. A little bit tricky at the moment to get some of that stuff done with uh, the old COVID lockdowns and things like that. So, um, all right, so we've done that. Um, we'll talk about the brakes quickly as well. Now, I was running a twin cop pot caliper on the rear brakes, but I found that this master cylinder doesn't move enough fluid. So the, the, the feel in the brakes was really horrible. So I've gone back to a single pot caliper and I've got a much better brake now. Uh, it feels really good. So we'll see how that goes. I may have to get another master cylinder so that I can end up with more fluid movement and then I can run the twin pot caliper to get better braking. But we'll see how it goes. It's still it's still going to stop. It's still going to stop well. Uh, we're also running the carburetor here with the accelerator pump on the side, uh, a twin cable. I've put a grommet through here to hold that nicely in there um, and then uh, up to the accelerator cable here. So that's worked out quite well. Uh, you'll also notice that we're running um, an oxygen sensor as well. So what I've done with this is I actually bought a kit uh, off AliExpress. Uh, and the kit comes with a oxygen sensor and the wiring kit and it comes with a cool little gauge if you have a look at the little gauge here cool little gauge like that so if I connect it up um, just so you can have a look once I connect it up the gauge comes up and it's got a little little arrow that moves around the sides and it gives me the battery voltage as well and it's not going to stay here all the time I've actually made this so it's a portable one so what it means is that I can, anybody that's got a mower that's got an oxygen plug in it, I can plug this in and we can tune the mower uh, and then we can remove it afterwards once we've got it tuned. So, um, yeah, so that's worked out quite nicely as well. Um, what we could probably do is uh, maybe start it up. Um, we'll see if it's going to start. So if we watch the gauge there, uh, I've got a key start down here. Uh, we'll You can sort of see what that looks like and it does run which is a, a good thing um, so um, yeah it's running uh, the, the oxygen sensor looks quite good works quite well uh, what I'll do now is I'll just uh, I'll just lift the mower up so you can have a look at the exhaust that I built for it um, and have a look at the uh, the pulleys we've got so I'm just going to hang this up here to the, the special sky hook um, and then we'll Pull this off the blocks, hopefully, and lift this up, and um, just, just get this box out of the way, there we go, um, hook it onto the sky hook, and then pull this through up here, okay, so now you can have a look at the exhaust, um, Probably not the prettiest exhaust, but it works with all the bits of pipe that I had lying around. So we started off with a normal pipe through, and then we just got bigger as we go, and gone out to the side there with a really important chrome tip to, uh, to obviously make it go faster. So um, it's also bolted onto the side, so it's not going to go anywhere when we started it. Um, and you can see the pulleys I'm running, so because this is a class 1 motor, it runs uh, a different ratio to what I was going to do. I was originally going to put a class 2 motor into it, so I had different sized pulleys. So um, we'll see how it goes. We started off with this. Um, I'm trying to remember what we ended up with. I think it's about 7.5 or 7.6 to 1. But we'll see what we end up with um, to see how, how it goes with this motor. Uh, we are now ready basically for a, uh, 
for a test and tune. Um, there's still a couple of things to uh, a couple of things to sort out. Uh, we've got to sort out the rear covers uh, and finish off the uh, the front bull bar. Put the bonnets all fitted, the um, fuel tanks in, and uh, yeah, we'll give it a go at the next test and tune day and see what happens. So uh, yeah, just a quick update on the uh, the reboot because I need to get it going so I can get it uh, working out. Uh, until next time, um, this is Garage.